It's Mr. Sunday! Hey, come over here! <laughs> Looks like someone needs help. Let's go check it out. Uh, Mr. Sunday, if I just re... <laughs> the, the... <laughs> but it's no big deal. They told me not to sell it. Selling everything you had. Why? Can't you see? Life is better to be here. Is this... <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, it's nothing, sir. You see, the traffic on Glock's Avenue can be dangerous. How about I ask a Bloodhound family member to escort you to Idine Park over there? Oh, yeah. See you around, Mr. Sunday. <sighs> What's up, sister? This is the land of the tr the man we ran into. Even those sweet dreams are nice. I suppose you have a point. Why do you say that? You think that man is not actually live? People believe they have a predetermined va- However, va Are you suggesting- Exactly. The survival of the fittest. No tragedies exist here. <sighs> Perhaps that man is just- Yes. Seeing. to meet you again, Robin. Uh, how are the preparations for the Charmony Festival coming along? We're all so excited about it. Uh, it's going smoothly. Thanks for making the trip to join the festival. You're too kind, Robin. I can't stand being lonelier. But if this went on forever... <sighs> and every day you get to wear fancy clothes. Uh... But... You know that only a few things can be brought back from the... That's exactly why I don't plan on bringing anything back. Just enjoying the dream itself is good enough for me. I, I mean, I'm not one of those long-living species. I Only in this sweet dream can I truly feel like... <sighs> I see. I genuinely wish you all the happiness in the world. And I wish you a fantastic performance, Robin! I'm off to the blue hour for the ball. See you later. <sighs> Seems like that guest's perspective didn't resonate with you either. She had a valid point. I could sense her genuine happiness. It's just that... What you're trying to say is, she thinks she's in control of her life. But in reality... She's just escaping from reality and seeking solace in this sweet dream. Well... However... No. And the paradise we yearn for... ...shouldn't be just a fleeting dream either. Scenery in this dreamscape is truly breathtaking, isn't it? Oh, Robin. Can't believe I'm meeting you in person here. What an honor. <laughs> You're right. Even though time stands still in this dreamscape, it always feels fresh. I find something new every time. A philosophical mind. I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, not at all. Uh, with little time left, I yearn for meaningful conversations. Especially with someone as esteemed as you. Do you mind if we chat? It's my pleasure. No need to be formal. Just speak your mind. You said, with little time left. Please, forgive me for being blunt. But is that why you came to Penaconi? <laughs> yeah. I was part of a war, and while escaping from the Sarkozian mothership, I got exposed to some radioactive materials. And then, all my comrades died, and... and they have. And I'm true... my physical body, my true appearance. <laughs> so 
so... <laughs> Just being able to live, my world has been torn apart. <laughs> well... That old man's story... It's... That's precisely why... However... Even this sweet... There will be a way out. Look what we have here. A lovely young lady. Brother, what a surprise to see you again. Show yourself. You're tr I've heard that a skilled mass fool received it in barely. The people here are a way to go. Now that you've had your fit. What? Now that you have the you should be thank That was a personal request from the head of the Iris Fe The Charmony Festival? <laughs> You think you can scare me? You I don't care what you're thinking, chicken wing boy. But I'm pretty sure our lovely rap, Hanakoni, the land of the dreams. Is this truly the paradise? Stop it. <laughs> what? Our paradise is none of your concern, Master. All right, all right. I'll go. Do you really believe those li- <sighs> Well, I've done my part here. The last two gifts for both of you. And don't lose them, and it'll be thrilling. I heard a raven cawing in the distance. It seems the Dream Master will arrive soon. Let's wait here for the Dream Master to arrive. Okay. By the way, it seems like a lot has changed. Well... But that someone doesn't have to be you, or anyone in the Paradise Center. Panacone is nothing more than a dream. Remember the old man we- That might be true. That path may have been more- Is Panacone granting these people a future? Well, don't for- The future for humanity is like the sky for birds. Do you remember how we took in that little Charmony dove when we were young? Yeah. We took care of it. Provided food and water, groomed its feathers. And later, when I decided to leave Penacone, I opened the cage and set it free. Well, I... I didn't mention what happened to it in my letters, because I didn't want to upset you. Shortly after you left, it crashed to its death right in front of your window. I had surmised as much. I knew you wouldn't have avoided mentioning the bird for no reason. Despite that unfortunate outcome, I still believe it was the right decision. Birds aren't meant to spend their lives in cages. But here's the thing. If there are birds in this world that can never fly, can we really assert that they belong in the sky? Are you implying that the same goes for humans too? Let's take the Astral Express as an example. The Nameless made tremendous efforts to bridge worlds, gaining fame across the universe. However, that's because the pursuit of the Trailblaze exceeds the capabilities of ordinary humans. Otherwise, why would this path be, path be filled with broken rails and abandoned? That's just... sophistry. If that were true, then only the powerful would have the right to determine the future. Unfortunately, that's exactly what happens. Another name for the future is self-value. While this world has its fair share of heroes who inspire people and garner admiration for their heroic deeds, the majority of ordinary people will never become heroes in their lifetime. Some are born weak and vulnerable. Some find themselves trapped in unfortunate circumstances. Some fall victim to malice and cowardice. When it comes to survival, everyone is equal. And the weak can only watch as their value gets constantly diminished by external forces. 
That's why we should care for the weak and support them as if their suffering were our own. That's what the Odes of Harmony have always taught us. While the Harmony holds noble aspirations, the strong will always be strong, and the weak will always be weak. Even in this carefree dream, human nature contains greatness, but it also harbors inherent weaknesses that can't be eradicated. In the end, if people can't even secure their own survival, they won't care about the illusory future of equality. As long as the law of survival of the fittest prevails. But if people don't live for the future, do they merely exist for survival? If even you, my brother, don't believe that the harmony will save the weak, then which eon can make our dreams come true? People often forget that when the first bird took flight, the entire world envisioned a future where no more fledglings would ever crash to their death. Are you reading, sister? What are you reading? Mr. Gopher Wood gave me a picture book. It's if I could become a chord master. I'd like to sum <laughs> I see. Then I would summon the harmonious choir too. Don't you have a wish of the Of course I do. It's just that it includes your wish and everyone else's. I long for a true paradise where everyone can find peace. Then let's build a stage there and invite everyone to our performance so that both our wishes come true through the power of the harmonious choir. It's a Yeah, it's a deal. Hmm. Maybe. You're back sooner than I thought. Any results? Yes. And now, it's up to us to forge ahead. <laughs> Since he's already carried out his last wish, my final mission is complete. But pardon me if I sound curt. It's good to have determination. The path Mikhail left for you is not an easy one to tread. Why else would he have chosen to sleep in solitude? Why do you have the numbers? Oh, God, any more in- As I see it, relying on Welt's negotiations alone is far from- Panacone is our- We're more familiar- That's right, but the problem is- Hmm. So, no one's gonna say anything? Then- Why are you speaking like the general? So, I heard that before- As long as we clinch the tops. So, how do we go about participating? <laughs> well, to tell you the- So they're still running this. We'll follow Marge's plan. I'm afraid I won't- Should we ever cross paths- All right. And Miss Firefly, we- We've already come this- This is also the spirit of the- As the last group of contestants, how confident are you in overcoming all of- Would you be open to a brief exclusive interview with us? Your journey is long and fraught with peril, yet under a sky blanketed by banners, you vie for the- The sword and rose! A nice head is hard as steel. People are pouring in. Ladies and gentlemen, please, make way. <laughs> make way. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the director of Soul Glad's factory, Ideen Lida. 
my four friends, introduce yourselves to the audience across the cosmos. Mm, hello, everybody. I'm Himiko, a nameless from the Astral Express, and these are my companions. Ahem. <clears throat> Don't you guys need to hide your identities? I can't hide it anyways. Pentaconi is plastered with our posters. And because the Astral Express is so well known, the family won't dare to make any rash moves. Situation. This is our best hope, but let's just get it over with quickly. Uh, hello, everyone! I'm March 7th! Hello, everyone! So it's a bunch of name- 